Hello and welcome to the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today we don't only celebrate the fifth Sunday for those of you who remember the days of old, it is Septuagissima Sunday, that is nine weeks before Easter. We are already beginning to think about Easter and the mood in the church is beginning to change already. So Septuagissima is uh, celebrated three Sundays before Ash Wednesday, so that is what we celebrate today. Of course, we don't use those words anymore, but we get a sense, that Lenten sense, the beginning of the Lenten sense in today's first reading. When God speaks to the people of Israel through the prophet Isaiah, and he says, Thus says the Lord, share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. What is happening here? Well, the people are complaining that God does not see their fasting, or God is slow to heal the wound in their community. So they have been told time and time again, if you want a God to look at you, you want to bend the ear of God fast. So they go into this deep fast and they wear sackcloth and they pour ashes on themselves and lo and behold, God doesn't answer. And so they go over to the prophet and they say, why doesn't God not see our, our fast? We are fasting, we are pouring uh, ashes on our body, we are wearing sackcloth and God is not paying any attention. <laughs> Which, this is a very, very important thing, right? Um, it is called knowing the love language of God. So, for example, um, <laughs> in, in learning the love language, right, I come home with uh, a bouquet of flowers to show my love and my appreciation. And maybe Marianne says, forget the damn flowers. I want the bathroom cleaned. We are speaking on two different labels, right? My love language is flowers. Her love language is a clean kitchen and clean bathroom. You have to know your lover. You have to know your God. What does God really want from the people of Israel? They think to please God, they have to starve themselves. God thinks that doesn't please me. What pleases me, what bends my attention is when you share your bread with the hungry when you shelter those who are homeless, when you clothe those without clothing, when you give drink to those who are thirsty, when every yoke of oppression is broken, then your sacrifice will make sense. So as we gather on this Septuagissima and as we prepare for the Lenten season, think about the things that please God. You and I might think, Oh, if I show up at Mass every Sunday, God will be pleased. And maybe God is saying, what good is it to show up at Mass every Sunday when you are the nastiest person on the planet? Again, just think about what pleases God. Today's Gospel passage, Jesus again is on the mountain of the Beatitudes and he continues his teaching and he says to the people, uh, to his disciples, you are salt of the earth, you are light of the world. Um, they tell us that in the Greek, hemos is, where, is the word you, and the emphasis is on you. Not on the salt, it is on you. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. So why the emphasis on you? The salt of the earth is the word of God. We learn that from the Hebrew scriptures. The salt of the earth is the wisdom of God. And the keepers of the wisdom keepers, we are also called salt of the earth. That is the Pharisees and the scribes. Now listen to this. Jesus draws to himself the, the sinners, the lepers, the tax collectors at the hill. He gives them the beatitude. He's speaking to those who are mourning, to those who are oppressed, to the meek. And he's telling them at first, uh, remember to count your blessings. And then secondly, he tells them, you know, 
The word of God, the wisdom of God, is you. It is not the Pharisees and the scribes and the, and the chosen few. Yeah, it is them, but also it is you. By your own experience, you are the wisdom of God. You are the, uh, the element of flavor that God has given to the world to make even religion and spirituality itself palatable. Growing up in Africa, I remember this uh, uh, salt, yes, is used to give flavor. It is used to preserve. And so Jesus is saying to the people, you are the ones who are going to preserve everything that is good in Israel. But also salt, I remember this, is used to heal. Whenever you are playing in the, back, uh, in the villages and you scrape yourself and run towards mama, I scraped myself. She always said, bring the salt. And she adds salt to the wound. It hurt but it healed. So it heals. Heal your world. You are light. The city, uh, the city on the mountain uh, spreads light to all. You are light. Not that you bring attention to yourself, but by your actions, they are able to see the hand of God. So ask yourselves, maybe not even ask yourself this week, repeat this to yourself. I am the wisdom of God. I am the light that shines so that others may not stumble. Right? God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.